Hi and welcome to part 3 of Android Custom View tutorial. In this tutorial we will implement an image into our custom view and we will make image manipulation on the canvas. So let's begin. The very first step is to include an image into our project and to do that uh, download an image from the net or you can use your own photo. I have downloaded this and Let's move it to the drawable resource folder. We need to call the bitmap factory decode resource and we need to pass the resource object and the ID of the image. Okay, so the decode resource will return a bitmap. So we need to store this bitmap as a member of the class so let's create it My bitmap m bitmap uh, let's call it an image it sounds better okay so m image equals with bitmap factory decode resource and the next step is to draw the image the bitmap on the canvas so canvas draw bitmap and we need to pass the bitmap and a starting position and an allable paint okay so this one will be the top left of the canvas as you can see there's a z ordering on the canvas so first of all the square will be drawn followed by the circle and after that the image so let's open the layout file and rebuild the project okay so here is our image okay now what we have a problem with it so if i open this image here you can see the full size of the image and in the layout file the right side of the image is not visible it's cut off why is this it's because the image is 1.2 megapixels, um, 1280 by 853 pixels, and the size of the Nexus 4 is uh, it's much more smaller, so that's why the image is cut in the half. If I change the screen orientation to landscape, we can see the whole image. Um, in this particular case, does the size of the image matter well it depends and it depends on the device so if i change to nexus 10 which is a tablet layout then the size of the image is a quarter of the total size of the view um, if i change to nexus 7 which is also a tablet then the image is cut in the half so it depends android might have thousands or Ten thousands of different screen sizes and devices and in this case let's go back to Nexus 4 so in this case we need to adapt to the configuration of the device uh, and to do that let's go back to our custom view and let's resize the bitmap so let's create a utility function uh, let's call it get resized bitmap and we need to pass three arguments so the first one will be the image the required width and the required height and let's create this method in the bottom of the class so private bitmap get resized bitmap the first argument is the bitmap the required width and the required height okay and to resize the bitmap we need to use the matrix class the matrix and we need to call the matrix set rect to rect and we need to pass a source a destination rect and a scale type so scale to fit center so rect f source equals with new rect and we can pass these values directly into the constructor 
so that will be zero zero the bitmaps width and height bitmap get width and bitmap get height and the destination rect equals with new rect and the required width and required height and dest and dest okay and we need to create a new bitmap we need to create a new bitmap by calling the create bitmap and the first bitmap um, the starting position on the x and the y axis and the bitmaps size so get width and get height and the new size which is in the matrix and we also want to apply a filter so let's go back this won't work because the get width and the get height will return zero it's because the init method will be called right after the initialization of the custom view and the view itself hasn't finished calculating his own size so one technique is to override the on measure and to return the required width and the height but there's a much more easier way by calling the get view tree observer and attaching a listener to it so the get view tree observer is used to register listeners that can be notified of global changes in the view tree so to attach a listener to the view tree observer we need to call the add on global layout listener and to create a new instance of the on global layout listener so the on global layout callback can be called several times during layout inflation but we want to be called only a single time so get view tree observer remove on global layout listener and we need to pass the listener but there is a problem uh, of calling remove on global, on global layout listener is because our current SDK is 14 but this call requires 16 so we need to add an additional build check so build version SDK int is greater or equal than build version codes jelly bean which is 16 then call this method otherwise get view tree observer remove global layout listener this so this method is deprecated um, after calling the on global layout we will have the required width and the height which will be the size of the view uh, and let's move the resized bitmap in the on global layout callback now let's run the app and let's see if our bitmap is resized great so here is our resized bitmap now let's uh, reposition the bitmap on the canvas exactly in the center of the view so first of all let me explain to you what we are going to do so here is our canvas and to draw the image in the center of the canvas we need to resize the image so it won't be the same size of the canvas width and the second step is to calculate the starting position of the drawing the image on the canvas so this position uh, x value will equal with the width of the canvas minus the width of the image divided by 2 and the position's y value will equal with the height of the canvas minus the height of the image divided by 2 so let's go back to our custom view and let's calculate these positions now let's add an additional um, padding to our bitmap resize let's say 50 pixels in padding equals with 50 and the new required width will be the width of the view minus the padding and the new required height will be the height of the canvas minus padding okay now let's go back to the on draw method and let's calculate the starting position of the image so float image x equals with the width of the canvas minus 
the width of the image divided by two and the image y position will be the height of the canvas minus the image height get height divided by two so let's replace those values and let's start the app great so here is our new image on the canvas let's add more thing in our custom view let's add a timer task which will be called every half second and it will resize the image so uh, we need to create a new timer and we need to call the schedule at fixed rate which takes the first argument a timer task a delay let's say two seconds or 2000 milliseconds and the tick rate of 500 milliseconds so this run method will be called every half second now let's calculate the new size of the image so new width equals with m image m image get width minus um, 50 pixels and the new height equals with m image get height minus 50. let's add a conditional statement if our new width is less or equal than zero or the new height is less or equal than zero then cancel the whole cycle and return otherwise we might get a exception at image resize and now let's create now let's uh, resize the, the image by calling get resized bitmap the image itself and the new width and the new height and we will also need to call the post invalidate method to notify our view that we have made changes in our custom view and the view should redraw itself okay now let's run the app okay so here is our image and every half second it will be resized great okay so that was it all right guys this is the ending of serious android custom view if you have encountered problems while implementing something then please leave a comment and i will reply to it the whole project is available on my blog so you can download it by clicking in the link in the description if you enjoyed this video tutorial then please like the video and make sure you subscribe thanks for watching